trap house big trap learned early in life from a classic movie about a classic gangster that in this life you have two things that guide you you have rules and you have parameters the rules you can bend them shit sometimes you can even break them and get by but you cannot habitually go outside the parameters that have been set for you and as much as i don't like it as much as it hurts me as much as i'm disappointed i respect coach riley's decision to let these guys go you can't have felons on your football program bro and everybody deserves a second chance but everybody don't deserve a second third fourth fifth chance bro there's thousands upon thousands of kids that wish they had the opportunity to play at a top tier program to be blessed with the opportunity to change the lives of not only their family but generations after them man bro like this one really hurts big trap i'm not gonna front i love me some trajan bridges bro i love that whole dallas fort worth area to a certain extent i don't like austin texas at all but seriously though bro i just hope these young brothers get it together find some some form of retribution get back to the game they love and just make better decisions because you know what the great biggie said more money equals more problems and these guys both have nfl talent which will lead to them eventually getting another opportunity i just hope and pray you boys don't waste it trap house rooting for you we were all rooting for you how dare you learn something from this yeah this one's real disappointing bro but like they say you play stupid games you win stupid prizes let's hear my man a double r speak about the difficulty of releasing players who are really big cogs in your football program i don't know it's that difficult i mean i think you you know you you have mistakes and a the guys make that you feel like they can uh, overcome and learn from and 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 then there's obviously there's always got to be a line there and uh there's it's, it's certainly not a free pass and, and there's you know there's things there's certain things that if they happen that there's not really no explaining left to do and uh and so you know that we are in the business of helping people, you know, we can't forget that. I mean, every little mistake that happens out there, people want us to just toss guys away immediately. And that's, that's not our nature. That's not who we want to be at all. But at the same time, we've also got a, a university and a, and a proud football program and, a, and a, a lot of things here to protect as well. And, and we're, we're going to help these kids as much as we can, but we're certainly going to protect the, the, the program and the university uh, as well. That's straight facts right there, coach. Man, bro, rules and parameters, bro. You can bend and break the rules, but never, never go outside that parameter. Don't compromise yourself. Don't compromise your future. So to all the young players out there, bro, just think about that. Think before you do. Don't let your actions betray your words, bro. You worked this hard to get to this D1 top tier program and we gonna risk it all for some shoes and some weed? Come on, man. You're better than that. But I'm still rooting that you boys get it together, get your minds right, learn from this setback, grow from it. And I would love to see you come back years later and guide other young brothers coming up in this game and teach them to not make these mistakes. This country loves a great comeback story, bro. And I'm hoping and praying you guys bounce back from this. But at the end of the day, nothing's bigger than the program. Boomer Sooner, Trap House. It's about rules, parameters. You take the beating for the friend, you don't run, you don't lay down, you don't betray who you are, what you are. <laughs>